Hey everybody, we're here with Colin Young, Luma Imports. He's going to be showing us colors of Paris. Colin, welcome. Thank you hey, so much. Tell me all about it. So what you have here is uh, Colors of Paris. This is the first original game by uh, Super Meeple. Super okay. Meeple known for a lot of their beautiful reprints in recent years. This is their first original. And this is, in a nutshell, a worker placement game with a few little wrinkles because you are all going to be painters at Montmartre at the turn of the century and you're trying to create a number of orders painted in the style of. So you'll notice that there are a number of these different famous styles that you can mm -hmm. uh, work with whether it's Toulouse, Lautrec, Manet, and they'll all have a different power that you'll be able to use. So at the beginning of the game, you're just gonna slot that in and figure out how that's gonna impact the game as you work to develop your tools, your technique, the ability to make different palettes as you look to be the first to ideally paint two uh, of these style of paintings and mm -hmm. so to do that we're just going to flip that over oh. this is what it'll end up looking like but in game you're trying to collect up a certain amount of different paint cubes so that's going to impact the ways in which you're able to build your palette and build your technique if you can pull this up pull that off and create that set you'll be able to collect that card to get the 16 points and certain cards that are a little bit more challenging to put together are going to be worth more points. So ultimately, you want to have the most points at the end of the game. We are still talking about a classic Euro here, but the way in which you're doing that is taking your workers and adding them onto the two-port rondelle here. And this board is going to give you an opportunity to place people either on the outer board, which this is going to change over the course of the game where you're able to place, but you can also place on the inner board and these are gonna be slightly more basic actions. So as you're figuring out which actions to take in a classic game, you're figuring out which kind of paints you're going to acquire, which ones you're gonna to combine to create, take the primary colors, how do you create the secondary, the colors? secondary colors, how are you able to build up your technique, how are you able to develop your palette, and those are all going to contribute towards putting together those sets of paints. And if you are able to put them together most successfully, you'll win and you will be the toast of Paris. The master painter. Absolutely. Like this guy. Exactly right. There you go. Beautiful. I mean, first of all, the artwork is ridiculous. I mean, it's just beautiful. These cards, and, and, and I've got to move this box because I'm just too wide. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I mean, if you can see the beautiful and exquisite art on these things. This is just, this is a gorgeous game. Super Meeple's really put together a reputation as not just accessible gameplay, mm -hmm. especially with their reprints of classics, but beautiful components, beautiful artwork. It's, they're titles that are just a pleasure to play because right. of just the just very this, sumptuous the kind of yeah. quality of the aesthetics, and yeah. especially with a game about a particular moment in painting history. Okay. Uh, I think they've done a wonderful job. When can we get this? This is going to be in, we're hoping, Q3. Uh, okay. We're looking to show demos here at Origins, <laughs> and we will be updating people as soon as we have uh, a stronger idea of when we'll be able to hit in the U.S., but we are expecting a little later this summer, early fall. All right. Colors of Prayers. Colin, thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. Thank, thank you so much. And for Colin, myself, Rob Orn, we will see you guys soon. Colors of Paris, go get it.